Welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. I hope you are all doing well. May God bless you with more happiness and prosperity. Today, we have some exciting updates regarding the Iraqi Dinar, so let's jump right into it. First up, Newshound Guru CLA highlighted an important article discussing the indirect negotiations taking place between Iran and Washington in Baghdad. This is a significant development. The article notes that Baghdad is actively creating a conducive environment and working to shape priority understandings. These efforts could pave the way for more direct discussions in the future. Even though these negotiations are indirect, the openness from all parties signals potential progress in addressing key issues. This could mark a turning point in international relations for Iraq and the region. Now, let's talk about some critical developments shared by Intel Guru Mars via PDK. He pointed out that significant milestones such as the Hydrocarbon Law, HCL, World Trade Organization, WTO, accession, the end of currency auctions, and the finalization of budget tables are all aligning. According to him, these indicators strongly suggest the need for a new rate for the Iraqi dinar. Mars believes that this revaluation process is nearing its conclusion, with expectations for everything to come together by the end of the year. Interestingly, he is optimistic that the timing could be even sooner. His positivity about the progress is infectious, and it's something to keep an eye on. In another update, Newshound Guru Babas mentioned that everyone is keenly waiting to see what unfolds in the Forex market. Today, Forex opens at 5 p.m. EST, which should provide us with more clarity regarding the recent developments. Will we see movement in the value of the IQD? Stay tuned. Newshound Guru Samson shared insights about Iraq's focus on strengthening its economic and investment sectors. This focus is crucial as the country aims to spare the region from the devastation of wars while emphasizing economic growth and stability. This strategy is vital for Iraq's long-term rebuilding efforts. Discussing the importance of adhering to timetables for economic reforms, militiamen highlighted statements from Iraq's Minister of Finance. This cooperation goes far beyond Iraq's borders involving key international entities such as the World Bank, IMF, Bank of International Settlements, WTO, and the U.S. Treasury. These organizations have reached agreements regarding Iraq's reforms and its path towards sustainable economic growth. Militiaman pointed out that these entities recognize the global significance of Iraq's reforms and the potential impacts on many nations. Intel Guru Frank 26 explained that the next step in Iraq's monetary reform process will be the introduction of lower denomination notes alongside a new exchange rate. He likened this to a chain reaction just like a room full of dominoes, where one small action sets off a series of events. Once the new exchange rate is introduced to the world, it will initiate a sequence of actions that could transform Iraq's financial landscape dramatically. Mars also shared an update regarding amendments to the 2025 budget, which are pending approval by the end of the year. This is particularly significant because Iraq has completed all necessary files and paperwork for WTO accession, and an official announcement is anticipated soon. Additionally, the currency auctions are expected to end by year's end. Years ago, it was suggested that once these auctions concluded, the value of the Iraqi dinar would rise. With the end of auctions approaching, Mars believes we are now in the window for this anticipated change. That wraps up today's episode of Iraqi dinar. What are your thoughts on these developments? Do you feel optimistic about the future of the IQD? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Your support truly means a lot to me. Until next time, stay informed and hopeful. Have a great day.